So, in these two examples, guys, we have to go ahead and divide. All right. So again, if you have something like this, f divided by g of x, that's basically just saying, what is f of x divided by g of x? Okay. So we do a problem like this. We're simply just going to take the f of x function and then divide it by the g of x function. That's about as simple as we get. However, we have a fraction divided by a fraction. And typically, we don't want to have fractions in the numerator and the denominator. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of a fraction. And one thing that we hopefully remember, any times you take a number and multiply it by a reciprocal, that always equals 1. So if I take the fraction in the denominator, multiply it by its reciprocal, I am going to now get 1, which would kind of theoretically kind of eliminate that fraction in the denominator. So let's take the reciprocal of negative 1 uh, of rex. We'll keep the negative. We'll use that. So we'll say negative. Um, I'll just put the, doesn't really matter where the negative is. But you guys would agree with me that would be the reciprocal of that number, right? Yes? And let's multiply reciprocal over here. Now, again, any number or expression multiplies a reciprocal equals 1. Multiplying fractions, we're just multiplying straight across. So therefore, I'm left with a negative x over 3x plus 1. Now, do you guys agree with me that I really don't need to write dividing by 1? Because negative x over 3x plus 1 divided, we don't really need to write divided by 1 one more time, right? You guys would agree with me. I can just kind of say this is equal to negative x over 3x plus 1. Agree? Everybody said? So now let's find the domain. Well, the domain is going to be all the numbers except where 3x plus 1 cannot equal 0, which we already said was x is equal to negative 1 third. So my domain is from negative infinity to negative 1 third union negative 1 third to infinity. You OK, Mr. Adams? All right, now let's go and look at g of x over f of x. That's going to be the same thing, g of x over f of x. So we're going to take g of x, which is negative 1 over x, all over f of x, which is 1 over 3x plus 1. And again, we're going to do the same process. Hey, we have a fraction in the denominator. Get rid of fraction in the denominator multiplied by the reciprocal. So 3x plus 1 over 1. 3x plus 1 over 1. That just equals a negative 3x plus 1 over x. OK, now we say, oh, what cannot be in the denominator? What can x not be? What, what values is going to make 0 in the denominator? That is just 0. So we could say x cannot equal 0. So my domain is negative infinity to 0, union 0 to infinity. OK? Just realize.